<laughs> we hadn't seen each other uh, since we had wrapped our movie. And then, so we did ADR sound stuff at, at Warner Brothers a uh, couple months ago. That months. means additional dialogue recording, yeah, everybody. Is that what it Kathy is? would explain, explain that to you because... I just started to say it's sound stuff. That <laughs> She's you... in the movies. You know? Well, we'll see, won't we? She's in the movies. But anyway, um, he was so funny. He says, God, I got to talk about our movie. He said, I, I was just hoping it didn't suck. <laughs> what and did he... you think of the movie, Craig? When it's, you just, saw... it's pretty good. That's not what you said to me. You no. said, we've got a... <laughs> Well, I, I didn't say that. I actually swore, <laughs> yeah. but I, I, I never went, duh. <laughs> but uh, I see, it's a departure for me, because usually what I do, yeah, apart from the Dragon movies, which mm -hmm. are awesome and I'm here to promote, but also, usually I'm in stuff that sucks. You know, <laughs> that's kind of my, that's my signature move. I do crap. People are like, hey, it's the crap guy. I'm like, hey, hey, I'm in, I'm in that crap thing that you laughed at. But, uh... But this is actually pretty good, so I think it's going to confuse a lot of people, and people will be like, what? Why are you doing that? Uh, you, he is the most amazing people, leading man Would in you this. remind people just one second, just quickly, what the storyline is? Because I think people tuning in going, well, wait, what is the movie? Give, a little bit. There's a whole lot of, uh, of surprises in it, yeah. but basically it's, uh, it's, uh, it's based about, it's a woman named Annabelle mm -hmm. who has lived a, a pretty dull life and finds herself widowed. I play Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> and he's crap. And then, and then um, something brings her to Scotland. Mm -hmm. And and this gentleman here Steps is named Howard Odd, and and he runs an inn ostensibly. Uh -huh. And then you discover through the course of the whole movie that nothing is what you what it seems. It's a romantic comedy mm -hmm. for people who yeah. who just don't have given up hope that they could ever find love again, much less you know happiness and joy mm -hmm. and and. Um, I'm going to go. You're selling it very well. I'm going to go see it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to go see it. You know it. what was the nicest thing? His what? beautiful wife Megan mm -hmm. sent me the nicest text, and she just went what on and on say? about the movie, that she'd watched it with her mom, who was a widow, yes, mm. and how much it meant to her, wow. and how, how I mean, she didn't mind our sex scenes. It was great. <laughs> it was just... They're the not that sexy, the sex scene. I mean, come on. I mean, let, let's be honest. Jack I mean, was it's... in a bathtub in one of the scenes. Uh, yeah, but... I mean, and he's look, in a shower. How, how easily can you get through that amount of Spanx to do a sex scene? <laughs> it's not... That, that's not a thing. It's not a thing. It, don't worry. It's very PG. You can take yeah. your grandma. Although to there see was it. there was one time, remember? I don't want to talk about that. That was a that was a thing that we didn't film where your thing fell off. I don't. I don't think you should talk about that. I'm always. I feel like I'm always like when I get here. It's very obvious that I don't really belong in the morning type period. <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm a guy who just rolled in off the freeway or something. Like, hey, ladies, how you doing? No, I have to tell this story. I told right. you you could tell it in your in your comedy tour. Um, well, you know, we, there's a scene. His eyes are bugging. There's out. a scene where I come out of the shower and I'm in my robe and I'm wrapping up my wet hair and he's in bed. And, and um, the wardrobe people very sweetly come, up, come to me and they go, Kathy, we can see um, your, your, your G-string uh, mm -hmm. lines of mm -hmm. your G-string. Would you mind at all, please, just taking that off for the, for mm -hmm. the scene? And I said, no, I've got a robe on. That's fine. Mm. They said, well, no, you're going to. We'll, we'll give you something. And I'll go, OK. Wait, give you something. Give you something mm. for modesty's sake. OK. Well, it's, I don't even know how to describe it. But it's something that is placed on your thing. I don't it, know how it stays on. That's what I don't well, understand. Well, it, it's supposed to stick. Right, but right. it was so hot. And we were oh, in God. this room. Oh, God, there's a lot happening about here. 12 hours shooting this one scene. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden, it just falls off to the yeah. middle of it. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it, was, it, it, was, it was bad. Oh, okay. And he continued. Who's that? That that uh, direct? No, that actor that you play all the time. That you say that in the middle of the oh, scene. Oh yeah, the, my Alec Guinness voice. I was trying to bring about a classic. In the middle of the scene, <laughs> Ms. Gifford's modesty guard flew across the room, <laughs> exciting many of the animals that were there. Never mind. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. We lost him. It was just one of those things I will never forget. Yeah. What do you do? I don't know, but you, <laughs> have you ever been in that situation? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what y'all are talking about. All right. I'm sorry. It was too inside. No, anyway. but it was cute. All right. So you um, are in a movie. Yes, a, a, you a were real another movie. movie. Oh, proper, yeah, no, the yeah. animated movie. Yeah, yeah the, the no, dragon movies. Who, yeah. You played Gober? What's his name? Gober, yeah. I've been yeah. doing it since the first movie. I, I do the... Is this the, the third? It's the third movie. You know what that is. This is How to Train Your Dragon, yeah. if you guys know. You've been voicing the character since 2010. So here's a little clip. Let's take we a look. A, yeah. 
One day you'll have to snip those apron strings and let Toothless stretch his wings. Reminds me of a talk I had with Stoic about you. Gah! Where did he keep coming from? Who? Those bloody hobgoblers. I swear they're popping up faster than rabbits. I think they want to eat me. Evidence would suggest I'm tasty. <laughs> By the way, Craig, one of your co-stars snuck in here to the orange room. Did you see? Uh, Look. Oh, yeah. Toothless. Oh. And toothless, toothless is here. Is here. Toothless, oh. come, Anybody? come on. Hey, hey, Toothless. I think Toothless is going to come our way. Really? Yeah, come on, Toothless. You can do it. Such a <gasps> lovely uh -oh. He's very nice. Here he comes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, my Hi, God. Toothless. Now, watch out, everybody, because uh, uh, dragon poop is very slippery. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God. This is weird. Now, yeah. He's a friendly dragon, I gather. Yes, he is. Very. Yeah. You haven't seen these movies? No. How did I miss them? I was watching all the, yeah. you know, Sex in the City. Well, well look, and... Toothless is, is gone now. You've you've insulted it's him. It's over. By not seeing his movie. Oh, we saw a clip. I think. Aren't they for children? Uh, they're for anyone who has the dollars to pay for them. <laughs> okay. All righty, and you're also getting ready. Last time I saw you, you were on your, your comedy tour right yeah, before wait, Christmas. Yeah, wait a minute, because I, I was doing a show near where you live. Yes. And you came by to say hi. Yes. And you said hi. Then you left before the show. Oh, you didn't stay for the show? Of course I didn't what stay for the show. What kind of friend is that? Like, uh, oh, you're doing a show. I'll come by and say hi. And then you came by and say hi. Are you staying for the show? No. <laughs> I've seen your show. No, not this one. <laughs> I was doing a very special one for you that night. I was going to tell that story about when your thing flew off and everything. <laughs> People love that story. Uh, except for today. Except for today. Yeah. Because I was telling it. Um, no, because I had I had the show in the morning, and you didn't start till uh, like oh, nine o'clock, yeah, and then it was right. gonna be. Yeah, yeah, I did the grown up hours. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. right. You know the thing about that uh, about Craig? So many people mm. don't realize that because he's got this wild and crazy, you know, sort of reputation. But he's such an unbelievable family guy, mm -hmm. and you were so ready to go home to your wife and your children and your Scotland. Yeah. He's moved Scotland, back. With... Scotland's not my entire... It's not mine. You understand? Well, you're the I'm richest from... man in Scotland <laughs> oh, now. Oh, I am not. I am not the richest man in Scotland. Well, I... you live in his house. No, no. I, well, I, I sometimes go to his house <laughs> to ask him for money. 